Look, it's, it's absolutely right that Solvency 2 is far too restrictive. And if we want if you want a wall of new money that's got to grow into the largest industry in the history of mankind, which we need to build, a big chunk of it's locked in insurance companies. So Nigel's absolutely right. Yes, it's a long journey, but the government's made its intentions clear, and, and we're moving in the right direction. Peter, how looks the broader market at the moment? Huge uncertainty. Every time I see uh, Mike Wilson from Morgan Stanley talking about the S&P going down to 3,000, 3,300, there's a counter saying, we look so cheap on these assets. We've never seen such high yields in so many stocks. Where are we at with UK assets for our viewers at the moment? I spoke to a bank chief executive the other day and he said, I wake up every morning, I look out the window, I look for the clouds. I know the clouds are there, but I see clear blue sky. And I think the... the he doesn't live in Sussex, thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like rain, I can show you. But the, 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 the pent-up save the, you know, the savings that have occurred during COVID, the fact that they're not repricing mortgages at anything like the pace that you, know, you look at the rate of change of rates, but mortgages aren't changing, repricing at the same pace. The economy is proving a little bit more resist resilient than people thought. Pricing power that sits with companies is a little bit better than people expected. So, yes, we're seeing downturns in those, some of those sectors where you'd expect to see it, particularly at the sharp end of consumer, but I think there is a slightly broader resentment. We will have a downgrade cycle, but I'm not convinced that... Downgrade cycle and recession? A, yeah, a, a, a mild recession, but I don't think the Armageddon scenarios are quite what um, is happening. Um, I gave uh, Nigel a bit of a going over over LDI. I'll, I'll have a little crack with you oh, as well on this one, Peter. I've been told I've got a wrap, but I'm going to carry on. Um, Schroeder's and their role in the LDI situation yeah. at the moment. Is there anything you need to look at yourselves and say, we've done this wrong, we actually need to change? No, the thing, the thing we got right was we acted as a fiduciary. We put the growth assets alongside the liability-driven assets. And, and that ability to have both sides, of the, both sides of, 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 the, of, the, of the equation and very good pipes between the two meant that we were able to move the collateral quickly between two, two different types of, of assets and avoid the challenges that many others felt. But what needs to change in that industry? Because it looks to me like there's a lot of, dare I say, intermediaries who haven't been selling the right product to the right people. Look, I think the FCA called it right when Nikhil gave evidence in the select committee and said the role of consultants needs to be looked at very, very closely and the role for regulation is going to become a lot greater in that area. Um, people I know think they're going to have a wave of litigation for mis-selling. Do you agree? I think there's going to be a lot of... If you were stopped out of a position and, for, and not told about it and then put back into a position at, at a much worse price, you know, you're going to ask an awful lot of questions about that. I think I'm very grateful that we're not in that position.